Tana Burton. I am a Japanese American currently residing in Southern California. My mom asked me if I wanted a job, actually. I was still in university and I was doing some part-time social media management for um, some Twitch streamers. And then my mom asked me if I wanted to go to Las Vegas and I was like, what's in Vegas? And she told me about this company called HKS, which I had no idea about. They needed someone to help do marketing for them and social media marketing and help them with the SEMA booth. So they contacted me because there's not many other Japanese people in Arizona that they had connections with. And it was kind of hard because I didn't know anything about cars back then. So it was hard to be like someone at the booth where like people in the industry would ask you questions about the products and you don't know much. But I learned a lot. When I visited HKS for the first time uh, before I was hired there, I saw that they had a white FRS and I didn't really know much about cars, but I knew what the FRS was and I thought it was really cool. I wanted to learn how to drive that car and it was actually a manual. So my boss uh, let me take it out and taught me how to drive stick. It, it was actually, it took me a really, really long time to learn. I think like half of it was because I was being taught in Japanese. <laughs> and the other half is just cause like, I felt like I was breaking the the car the entire time I was driving. After I learned manual with that car, I had the opportunity to buy that, the HKS Demo FRS. It took me about two weeks before I signed up for my first track day, and I didn't actually know how to like heel toe downshift yet. So yeah, that was a pretty abrupt decision. <laughs> I just really did not like driving. Like I had a Accord at the time, but I would pay for an Uber like somewhere before I had to even drive. Cause I don't know where it came from, but I was just nervous to get on the road, I guess. And then um, I saw the FRS. It was like such an exciting car. I wanted to learn how to drive it. So I just kept trying, even though I was so nervous, I just kept trying with that car. Like when you get an FRS or like a sport car for like the first time, you want to drive it everywhere like kind of show it off. Slowly, I would get like less and less nervous to take the car out. So there was a guy, <laughs> there's this guy. <laughs> I met Sun at Chuck Walla on my very first track day for 86 Cup and he actually towed my car from Chuck Walla all the way back to my house. Sun is the owner of Formula S they specialize in S2000 restoration and race prep. He showed me his shop for the first time. He just opened it actually like two months before I met him. And um, yeah, this is it. <laughs> After going to Chukwala, I went to some tracks in Arizona. And then after moving here, I went to Streets of Willow. I like that track because I didn't go off. <laughs> And then it wasn't until recently that I started going to Button Willow and now I can't get enough of it. That track is like pretty technical. So there's a lot to learn. And I didn't, I didn't go off my first time there, but it wasn't until I got confident that I was just continually going off at Button Willow. I think it was the second time I went to Button Willow. Actually, no, I had good tires. I can't blame it on the tires. <laughs> I had a really big off at one of the turns called bus stop. I went off into the dirt because I was carrying too much speed at the corner and then I tried to turn the car uh, back in from the dirt and yeah, no one told me you're not supposed to turn the car in the dirt. But I went off there and I caught a lot of air and broke my very new, very beautiful Ings bumper. <laughs> that was sad. Son just, he just did a sigh. He wasn't angry or anything, but he, he had to help me fix everything afterwards. So it was unfortunate for him. But, well, the first thing he told me is, like, you're not getting a motorcycle after this because I told him I wanted a motorcycle. <laughs> after that off, I actually met my now coach, Jaden. He is younger than me, but he is a professional race car driver and uh, he did Formula 3 and Porsche Cup. He helped me learn all of the basics of driving. I had to like take away everything that I learned and unlearn everything. 
I was really scared of driving after that off again. So I would go super slow. I would request to be in like the slowest run group. After Jaden sat with me and like gave me feedback, I got a lot more confident. And we eventually started looking at data. That actually helped me a lot. It was mostly just like the sheer amount of track days I went to in like a short amount of time that helped me and always having Jaden next to me to like give me feedback. And instead of like fooling around between sessions, like talking to friends and stuff, I'd basically just like close off and like read about like what I could have been doing wrong, watching other people's videos at the track with like the same setup as me. And then like asking Jaden and son questions. It's kind of weird because it's like the first thing in my life that I actually want to be good at. And I think it's because it's, it's just so fun. Like I remember the first time I drove at Chuckwalla into the bowl, I felt like I was flying into the sky. It was so surreal. I don't know. And I'm not scared. It's just like fun. I'm not sure if it will change, but I want to start racing KAs, I guess, to get a sense of how wheel-to-wheel -wheel feels like because I've only ever um, done like time attack before. I'd like to do some GTA time attack events and eventually I would really like to do Super Taiku in Japan. I don't know how this happened, but I have six cars right now. My first one, the FRS, was my primary like track car. Then I got the MRS because I really, really like that car and I wanted to build it into something cool, but right now it's just like a project car that sits. I got an E46 that I have been practice drifting with. I have the Supra, which we are using to develop parts, and I actually really like that car, but the reason I don't drive it much on the track is because it's like an easy driver's car, and I feel like I might build bad habits with it. I just got a Prius Prime for practical use and to be nice to the environment. <laughs> I picked up an S2000 to replace my FRS, mostly because it's just so nice to drive that car. I have never felt anything like it. It feels like a go-kart, like it turns wherever you want it to go, you know? It doesn't feel like it, actually like the FRS or like understeers, I don't like that. Yeah, the s is my favorite. It's my newest, but it's, it's probably my favorite because it's just, it gives you drama when you ask for it, you know? It's just a good car and it's so convenient because like we have Formula S, which is like S2000 specific. If something happened, I don't have to worry that much. I also recently just got into karting thanks to my friend JJ from Pink Ribbon Racing. The first time I went karting, I also started spinning and I actually cried. <laughs> I started, I started crying and JJ was like, JJ was like, did you grow up in a strict family or something? <laughs> it's because I just kept spinning and I was so frustrated. 